Hey guys, welcome to the construction site on Monday. Today the guys are back after my short summer vacation to finish the work on the water pipeline. One thing they're doing is uh, replacing the water hydrant with a blue one because the red one was sticking out of the ground a little bit too much and this is an underground hydrant. So as you can see maybe from this shot the valves and everything are just above ground. So we're going to install the shorter one, 20 centimeters shorter, so it's going to be housed underneath and nothing will hit it and destroy it. Watching it end again and again. I feel it in ways you follow me. I'm drifting to places I should leave. So close to the edge of something so perfect. We were too scared to take the leap. I'm missing the way we used to be. Alright, guys, so we're at the front of the house now. The guys uh, are putting the pipe underneath the road here. So the road has been dug up once again because the water pipeline goes to our property and then turns 90 degrees in front of the property line by the electrical box, runs along the property line and then goes uh, into the house with another 90. And uh, this is because in the plans uh, for the area there's like a road going across our land so we have it split into two pieces but of course the road is nowhere to be seen and probably not in a long time so we're not really worried about it that much but from the perspective of putting in the infrastructure we already are taking it into the into account that's why i'm talking about the property line running in front of the house like with this electrical box or the pipeline, water pipeline, is because this is in maybe sometime, I don't know when they decide to build this road, but at one point they might uh, buy the land back from us. Uh, in that case, this will be our uh, front fence or the front yard. Let go. Just so you are aware, it is the middle of summer right now, uh, end of July, uh, and uh, in a couple of days will be August, and it is 32 degrees in shade today, really hot. And this the upcoming week is supposed to be like 35 or something, really, really hot weather. I remember last year where we were, I think we were doing uh, some pipes under the garage in such weather. It was like 35 and. The guys have to take rest in the shade, so all this summer is getting really hot. The crew has found the pipe that we buried a year ago, and now we're going to see how it looks. Doesn't look that bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the guys have now dug a trench from the house where they find the pipe back to where the new pipe is. Back to where the new pipe is laid. So. So we're almost there. Can you get any closer?
Alfa się poddajesz? Co ma inny kolor? Rura od tamtej. Bo jest to rura PE80. Aha, ale to jest kolorem można odróżnić jaka, tak? Właśnie ona celowo, one celowo mają inny kolor. Zapach masz tak. Nie wiem, nie wiem. Pachnie jak bimber. <laughs> nie wiem, nie, nie wąchałem jeszcze bimber. <laughs> jak bułgarski bimber. <laughs> Ciekawe, nie? <laughs> Skąd jeszcze pachnie bułgarski? Uuu, jeszcze będziesz trzymać. Odpalaj to dobrze, że jeden nie So the inspector is here to take a look at the new hydrant installation and the pipe to the house. Alrighty guys, so the pipe is buried and the excavator is just now fixing the road that was broken or dug up. So we took the crushed concrete to the side and now we're back filling it with the crushed concrete. Of course it's not going to be as perfect as it was. And what can you do? It will be okay, I guess. And anyway we plan to put on a little bit more as a top layer, so we'll see how it goes. If it will not last up, if it will sink or something, we just have to add more material in that one spot where the pipe was the road the other spot where they parked across the road over there and uh, that will be it so thank you guys very much for watching and I'll catch you next time